I think I'm gonna have to do it. I was gonna say, if you didn't put it down, I was just gonna grab it. <laughs> Bro, look at this. I got all these SMS. Oh, I need that right there. <laughs> this is getting wild. Welcome and welcome in. Today we're at a place called Retro Infinite. Our buddy Tony is putting it together like a little get together trade event. We're super excited to check it out. There's some big things happening today. Let's get this going. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So if I have to place a game I'm looking for, last time I went to like an event like this, I wanted Chippendales 2 or DuckTales 2. That's like the two that I really want. Loose or CAB doesn't matter. I'm gonna be searching. There's a ton of good stuff here I'm talking. We just got here, it's still early, but there's tables fully set up. There's every type of stuff you can think of. We're super excited to hunt, but Ricky, what are you looking for? What's right, your hope today? I want to go weird, so I'm going to go with Swamp Thing on the NES. That's what I want to find. Swamp Thing? Swamp Thing on the NES. I like that, right? right? Hey, Ben also collects Nintendo, bro. What are you yeah. looking for? I'm going to go for Race America, baby. Oh, that's a oh, good one. I still need that guy. That's the most white guy answer ever, too. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm with a dark man, what? and I see already another dark man. Can I? Hey, can you pull this? Can you pull this dark man out for me, Chubs? That's my dark man over here. Ah, I need that right there. Also, I don't, I don't know if I have Days of Thunder either, or Kings of the Beach, which is also a great game. Chubbalicious, my man. How are you? I need to pull out a couple of these. Is that okay? Hey, we taking the whole track? Okay. Uh, let's see, Dark Man. Um, oh, Ricky, Ricky. Wow. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Dude, these are okay, Dark Man for sure. Dark Man's missing manual. Dark Man's missing manual. Let me see. I might need Days of Thunder. Okay. These are all you, Chubs? Oh, no, these are Kyle's. Okay. These are Kyle's. And I might need <laughs> Kings of the Biatch. Let me uh, let me look at them now. I got to look at my, my app and see what I got. As I was finishing my NES deal, Ricky, you pulled the trigger on these. Yep, I did. Check it out. I never see them. So this is from 64. This is from 64. This Ocarina is Epona and Link and Ganon. Those are awesome. Did you sure. get a good deal? What'd you pay? I paid 60 M. I think it's a good that deal. That sounds good. That sounds like a good deal to me. I would have charged him 80, but you know. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Heck yeah, Ricky, good job. All right, so I'm looking at my 1UP app. We're at 277, but now I did get Days of Thunder, Dark Man, and Kings of Beach. So I know, again, I didn't need to be getting CIB, but it keeps happening. I have a huge uh, memory as a kid playing Dark Man. It was, I think it was like 91 that it came out. It is an ocean game. It's super slippery, but it's a really fun game. It's a game, well, I dare maybe not say it's fun, but it's a childhood game. So those kind of games feel fun. I didn't even pull them out yet, but it looks good to me. Such beautiful cover art. And that puts us at 78, 79, 280 NES games in the collection. All right. I should also say that he gave me all these for a hundred bucks, so what a good deal that was. All right, we're going to put stuff in our car. We're already loading up. Ricky's loading up on a lot of non-NES, but just like stuff to probably flip. All Nintendo. For NES this is set. Um, I'm looking at a Gargoyles Quest two right now on the NES. There's one over there. Uh, it's right at price charting value, but it is one of those games that's like, it's one of the go-to best NES games. It's not just an expensive game, but a good game. Ricky, Ricky, let, let's yeah. let's get Ricky's opinion. Do you one think, of the best NES games. Do you think I should buy it? Yes. Straight up. How much is it? Price charting. It's on, it's on cue with what it is. Just, just because of that game, I'll say yes. I feel like certain games are justified to pay the... Was it CIB, you said? No, 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 it's loose. Okay. But it's it's what it goes for right on the dot, right on the money. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah. Capcom. And Ricky? Yeah. I have a gift for you. I know it's not actual Super Nintendo, it's strictly limited, but open this puppy up, bro. Ooh, I got beautiful. this and I was like, Ricky was always the Wild Guns man. So this is as good as it gets without being obviously. Oh dude, that looks legit. Look at the manual too. The manual's nice. Oh dude. And they got the Natsume blessing on it and everything. So it's beautiful. So that's, that's awesome. That's your gift for the next Thanks, 48 Donnie. years of your life. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Sir, I'd like to uh, redeem my coupon code over here. Let's see. 
So, this is what I'm looking at. Gargoyles Quest 2. Gonna pause the video right here and talk about Squarespace for a moment. Thank you, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your website. How about Squarespace's online store? You can sell your products on their online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. And how about their flexible payments? You can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay. And you can offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And as we always say, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, kind of fun. And he said, if I buy these, he's going to throw in this rock, right? <laughs> he wishes. Really weird. Just, he was like, I'll throw it in. You buy the rock, I'll throw those in. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not bad, right? That isn't bad, actually. Um, if I get all three of these, you got anything or anything at all? Anything. Nothing is owed, but I'll take anything I can get. I'm pulling out the money now, though. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm just listening. Here it comes. 120 for all three. 120 for all three. I am in. Let's do it, baby. Oh, oh, I had to saw you look over. I'm sorry. <laughs> he wanted it earlier. <laughs> there is a weird special feeling about adding like the bangers, even though I would, it is a heavy because it's, you know, any game over a hundred bucks is like a heavy at this point, but I feel like it just has a good feeling to it when you accomplish it and it's a good game. So with that on the app, we're showing 283 NES games in the collection. Ooh, and just now, Chris from Retro Games Plus just showed up to sell, so he's gonna set up in a second. I just came across these NECA Street Fighters, which I haven't seen the NECA ones before. I do see a lot of NECA lying around, but never the Street Fighter ones. So at 10 bucks a pop, I'm gonna buy these just because they're super awesome. Wow, Ricky just discovered this right underneath my nose too. As you can see, a Mario cell. But so when you have cells like this, for people who don't know, yeah. if you get like the main important characters on a screen, like this one, you're getting Mario. Obviously, in like an action pose, the value goes dramatically up. And by the way, it's getting windy. Hopefully, the audio is not too bad right now. I don't think so. I think it's fine. It's cold. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm sure all of you know this feeling, but when you're collecting for a set and you think you have a game, you're like, I have to have that game. I don't know how I didn't have Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. What's the best, Christopher? What is the best Turtles game, in your opinion, on the NES? Is it this, two, or one? Two. Two? Two, by two. far. By far? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I, I would say you're a madman. <laughs> no, I agree. I actually like one a lot. It actually, most people are gonna disagree with this. I go three, one, and then two. That one is hard though, isn't it? Really uh, hard. I mean, not for me. No hit, right? I know, right? Yeah, he knew that was coming. No, yeah, I'm oh, super hyped on this. Did this come from you? That did. That is oh, such a banger, dude. Yeah. That is such yeah. a banger. What did I put on the price on it? What bucks? did you put? Yeah, that, that. I think that's low, but yeah, that is. Because it's, it's newer. That is unbelievable. But it's beautiful. awesome. That is unbelievable. I thought you gave me stuff. Yeah. Hills presents Intellivision. Intelligent television by Mattel. More sophisticated than any video game that has come before. Providing hours of entertainment for the entire family. This puts me, us, us, at 284 NES freaking games. Every time Ricky and I remind ourselves to slow down, we don't. I mean, if I get this, I can sell my loose copy, right? Absolutely. So I'm looking at this. What do you? So Ricky's looking at Dracula Three, and by the way, it's clean. A, I mean, I wouldn't even call that a good condition. I call that a beautiful condition. Oh, cool. yeah. So there's the that manual. looking. Ben, how do you feel about that condition? That makes me want to collect CIDs. <laughs> you know. Um, and then you got this. Which, I, man, Adventure Island series is one of my favorite series that of video is your games. We need, two, we need two and three, though, also. And then Dragon Warrior 4. What do you know what you have on this one? 15. 15? Dang, would you do anything if I got these two at all? Yeah? Hmm. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? For this guy and this guy? 130. 130 for both? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's go. Get myself a deal. Get Appreciate it. And Ricky's still ain't really getting. Are you getting that? What's your best on this? That was yeah. tight. That was at one. It's at 120. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the cleanest. It's very difficult to get that clean like that. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I was gonna say if you didn't put it down, I was just gonna <laughs> grab it. I'm gonna be, I was literally just waiting, like opening my wallet, like all right, Ricky. So I, why would you? What would you say? 
130. 130, 120, just like that. This is getting wild. So uh, we can't add anything to the count with Castlevania uh, three because we already have that. Ricky is getting though. Jared, CIP upgrade. And then, but for us, we do get to add to with Adventure Island. Beautiful, beautiful label and Dragon Warrior four. I actually have a huge history with the original Dragon Warrior. I'm not gonna say two, three, four, five, none of those, never got into them. But the original Dragon Warrior. Super fun. Well, let's tell the audience I just lied. It's not fun in any way. It's just something we played as my family as a kid. And boys, that puts us at 287 freaking NES games. Let's go! Now, the mission given to us by Master Higgins himself is to find either Adventure Island 2 or 3. We're gonna make it happen. We need to do the, we're, we got Ghostbusters 1 and 2. We got more Dragon Warriors. We have all of those now. Well, almost all of them do we have all of them. I'm not sure. We got a bunch of those, but now Adventure Island can't be lonely. He can't be a lonely boy by himself, so he needs either two or three. We're gonna find it. Oh, that's cool, Ricky. Oh, that's Latin American? This one? Ricky! The fact you're not making an offer on this is offensive <laughs> to me. <laughs> Dude, that is actually awesome. That's so cool. What's though, interesting bro. is, oh, so, okay, this is gonna sound like the it's dumbest awesome. question, maybe even debatably racist. Are the, so Golden Sun, because the game's called Golden Sun, they're not gonna change it to like a Latin translation? No. Some don't. Okay. Some don't, like mostly, I think mostly they don't change it, only if it's like, um, like a subtitle, like oh, got subtitle, it, got it. Like a sub name for the game. Got it. Do that back. Dude, look awesome. at that. Do that picture on the back, by the way. I do. That is that is a beautiful thing right there. Any uh, Adventure Island two or three games? No. Nope. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Hey, you didn't have Adventure Island two or three by any chance? No. Maybe. Ah. Oh, all right. All right. You were, I thought. I thought by that look, you maybe had a thought. I was thinking about it. Oh. Uh, I, like, no, I, uh, yeah, I want to yeah, see yeah. what is this right here? Yeah. So. So. My understanding okay. is that back when they oh, wait, okay, go ahead again. Back when they started launching um, the Power Glove and the promotion, so Mattel put this together for the salesmen okay. to go out to like the Toys R Us stores and actually present. Wow, so it's like a salesman bundle. It's a salesman sample. So oh my yeah, so, gosh, so, you know, dude! I'm a salesman and I'm gonna go into Toys R Us, right? Yeah. Okay, so, I'll hey, take it. You convinced you me. Gotta, yeah. <laughs> so um, wow, so this would be dude. the case. So they would. You know, <laughs> that is. Store. So cool, dude. No, no, no. The Power Glove for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you and the games are one. So I debated getting this. I don't have DuckTales yet. Like, what are the odds that I don't have DuckTales yet? That's that's pretty stupid, to be honest. But Ben, who cleans all our games, is like, ah, just hold out for a better condition one. So I'm going to wait. Uh, also, no Adventure Island two or three anywhere here. I have not seen one of them, so. Wow, is this a prototype? Yeah. <laughs> Exclusive. $44. Rare. Yeah. For 44 bucks. You want it? Wow, dude, that. I'll even do 20 for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> $20 Contra 3 prototype. Nobody wants that turn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know this was in here. It's so funny that that's in here. All right, so I have a surprise to show Riff. We were going for some green games, and I found one. I found it. But I'll show when we get when we get home. All right, Benny boy, what yes, did sir. you get today? All right, show so us, doggy. I went there hoping to get some NES, maybe some N64. Yeah. And bro, look at this! I got all these SMS. What are the best ones? Okay, best ones I think are. Our type. Ooh, Ooh, that's my type. We got some Wonder Boy in Ooh. Monster Land. Oh man. Some regular Wonder Boy. Yeah. We got what else? some Outrun. That's Ooh. good. That's Look good. at that. And then Shinobi. So check it out. Ooh. The best thing about these is they have the hang tabs like on them. 
then that's kind of on nice. I'm gonna say literally yes. like all of those games are like I was like gonna like clearly be like well this game's obviously the best those are like legit like four or five of some of my favorite games on the Sega Master like, System yeah man that right. Shinobi Sega Master System version the music is so good the dumb sound effects are so great too man Ben good pickup dude thanks and you got it from Retro Games Plus man yeah. oh man, oh, man. Okay, man. get a refund so now I'm curious. Ricky mentioned to me that he had something to show me back at the house. So we're gonna go grab a bite, but then I gotta see. What is this mystery thing Ricky wants to show me? Yummy. This episode is brought to you by Phoenix Resale with the Chipotle. <laughs> uh, I'll take a little bit of sour, or it's sour cream, normal amount. And then I'll take cheese, and then a little bit of lettuce, please. That was our Chipotle, polished, polished. Polished. Now we should go polish some games, by the way. But Ricky still is a surprise to show me. He keeps saying, I gotta wait till I get to the house to see it. So, uh -oh. I'm, nope. I'm guessing it's gonna be, uh, he wants to tell me that he's gonna give me a little Samson. That's my guess. That'd be a nice deal. For my personal gift. Because my birthday is next week, actually. You know what, Ricky? Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. <laughs> All right. Ricky said he has it with him. Ricky, what is this mysterious item? that you have to show Yo, me. Dog. Wow, Pokemon book. I mean, that's cool, but tell me that's not what you left off. Let's go. Wait, where was this? It was at one of the booths. Wait, and it's clean as can be. I mean, it's a little dust in here, but it's clean. clean as a whistle. It's great. Ricky, you Thanks. little sly. Oh, there you go. I did not pay that. You got it for cheaper than that. Yeah. Well, I think that's you a good deal. I was like, sick. And that's good condition. Ricky, we're now just missing Adventure Island. No, two, one. Nope. one. Shoot, I can't. Remember. But we're missing only one Dragon Warrior game. The first one. Go figure the cheapest one. <laughs> Dude, ben, you just lay like a 10 minute fart? What was that? I, I rolled down my window. Oh, I literally heard. <laughs> Ricky, that we might have mixed up at some point, all in all, here and there. But right now, we're currently at 287. Yes. Sick. Hey, also, if you guys do like these beautiful, strictly limited games, make sure and check out, uh, use code PGS5. They hooked me up again. They're not giving me money for this, but I promised them I'd give you guys a little a coupon code. They said you'd give you guys one because uh, they appreciate you guys. So PGS5 to get some money off on their beautiful stuff. All right, here's that TV we got from Ben a while ago, but now, it's been working. I've been playing games on it. Let's see. By the way, this needs to go back in here, Ricky, in the, uh, the complete box. Let's see, Ricky. Let's test out Gargoyle's Quest 2. See if it works first try. Give it good luck, people. Blowing it, audience. All right, ready, Ricky? Is it going to work first try? Come here. We're on our Hyperkin. By the way, Retro on 1. Let's see if it works first try. Will it fire up first try? Oh! oh. Dang, first try. Shit! <laughs> Come on, Ricky, get in there, bro. Start. A long, long time ago. Shut up and let me play! Fire, that, oh, by the way, like, why have none of us named our children Firebrand? Actually, is that like naming your kid Lucifer, kind of? I think so. Yeah, let's see. Uh, here we go, Ricky. Welcome, Firebrand. Here is the Spectre's fingernail. You will have the honor of receiving this when recognized as a true warrior. It's time for you to go to the Warriors Training Center. And there I am. And if you don't know, this game isn't like all RPG style like this. It's a good mix, right? It's not a little bit too much of one or the other. You know what I appreciate, Ricky? Check this out. A lot of RPG games, when you move around, it moves at like the freaking speed of molasses. But look at that. That's nice. That's moving. That's grooving. So, super good. 